One of our listeners, Sean O'Neill, said it like this, Arn. Pound for pound, the most talented faction in the business, the Dangerous Alliance, should have been pushed to the moon. And, buddy, I couldn't agree more in any era. Any promotion, top to bottom, the Dangerous Alliance delivered. Think about the talent, the in-ring work, the promos, the championships. And spoiler, boys and girls, this faction lasted from Halloween Havoc 1991 to Halloween Havoc 1992, if we use the time Rude, Medusa, and Dangerously came together and then subsequently split apart. Uh, so there you go. One year's time, and uh, but still talked about to this day, Arn. Yeah, dead and gone. One year, that doesn't seem like a long time. No, it doesn't. Arn, that's going to wrap up our coverage for November 1991, but we are just beginning our coverage of the Dangerous Alliance, and I promise that we're going to dive in deep each week. And before we get out of there, uh, get out of here our show this week, we do have uh, some questions from ad-free shows and Twitter, and so we're going to hit these, and then we're going to shut it down. Uh, because we covered the trust Dusty had in you earlier in the show and how you were able to work with so many partners and opponents, now might be the best time to ask friend of the show, Drew Landry's question, the professor. He wants to know, Arn, during any time of your career, especially when WCW was in its lean time, did you ever think you could have led the company by being its world champion, having a feud with Ron Simmons over the title, or were you happy with where you were? <clears throat> I don't think it was ever a conscious thought one way or the other, Drew. To be honest with you, you know, I never aspired to be the world champion. Uh, I know what the company was looking for, and cosmetically I didn't fit that mold. I was just fine in the position I was in. I was always figured in a next to last, third from the last position, or it might go all the way down to, you know, second or third match of the night didn't matter to me as long as I was out there with guys that I could perform and make everybody that bought a ticket glad they did. That's always uh, what's impressed me about you, Arn. Didn't always feel the need to be the man. You just wanted to be the man that did what he was supposed to do and and wrestle well and, and uh, you know, do what you were told, right? Be a good so soldier and, and give the fans what they want. When a guy's leaving the, the show and they're walking to their car with four other guys and they're Oh man, that was great. That was it. That was this. That was that. I wanted to be the one. Man, I loved that match. Mm. You know, I loved that Anderson match. 